Good morning everyone. My name is Kerait. I am studying in 7th standard and I am from TSWRS Shamilpet. So before going to our topic, let us have a small puzzle. Look at the picture and look at the picture for 10 seconds and find the fish. I think you found little difficulty to find the fish. So here is the fish. Can you think where these bottles are? These, bottle, these bottles are in the ocean. Basically, what do you find in the ocean? We see fishes in the ocean. But nowadays, we see plastic bottles instead of these fishes in the ocean. This is the state of all the oceans in our country today. So today I am here to help you out to understand what is plastic and the effects on the plastic. Today my topic is how can we make our society plastic free. So the main objectives of this lesson of this section is the students will able to define plastic, learn the different types of plastic, analyze the main hazards of plastic and know the ways to minimize the usage of plastic. First of all, what is plastic? Plastic is a polymer which comes from petrochemical. So before going to know about polymer, let us know what is monomer. The word mono means single and mer means unit. So monomer is a single unit and it is a molecule that is able to bond in long chain. This long chain is called polymer. The word poly means many and mer means unit. Polymer is a long chain which is bonded with many units. So friends, plastic has been part and parcel of our life. So every part, every work of our life is bonded with plastic. So let us know the use of plastic in our daily life. Plastic is a material which can be molded and changed into different shapes. These plastics are derived from natural and organic material such as cellulose, coal, natural gas, salt and crude oil. The production of this plastic begins with the distillation of crude oil in an oil refinery. So friends, let us know the use of plastic in our daily life. Our every walk of our life is bonded with plastic because plastics are used in thousands of products which add us comfort and safety to our everyday life. They are used in making pillows, carpets and blankets which add us comfort in our homes. So plastic is also used so commonly in making products such as containers, bottles, drums, trays and teacups. So these plastics are easy to lift and handle by our consumers. So friends, we already know, we already have seen the usage of plastic in our daily life. So there are few types of plastic in, few types of plastic. Let us know the types of plastic. There are seven types of plastic and, and denoted by recycling codes. The first recycling code is PET, polyethylene terephthalate. Second recycling code HDPE, high density polyethylene. Third recycling code PVC, polyvinyl chloride. Fourth recycling code low LDPE, low density polyethylene. Fifth recycling code PP, polypropylene. Sixth recycling code PS, polystyrene. And seventh recycling code others. It is also known as bisphenol A. So friends, we have seen the types of plastic. But what is the use of these plastics in our daily life? So plastic, first recycling code, PET. They are used in making water bottles, soft drink bottles and sports drink bottles. Second recycling code, HDPE. They are commonly used in making Milk and juice bottles, detergent and shampoo bottles. 
third recycling core pvc they are commonly used in making plumbing pipes and plastic children toys fourth recycling core ldpe they are commonly used in making dry cleaning bags and bread bags fifth recycling core pp they are commonly used in making cups and yogurt yogurt containers and sixth recycling core ps they are used in making take out containers take out containers and seventh recycling core it is the combination of six plastics and used in making cds and plastic children toys so friends we have already know that these plastics are denoted by plastic recycling codes these recycling codes are also known as plastic identification codes so what is identification plastic code and what is the use of this plastic identification code so the number we see on the bottom of some plastic packaging are known as resin identification code so developing a coding system is to is to help the recyclers in identify the types of plastic used in making bottles and other containers so this plastic recycling code consists of a recycling triangle and a number in center so friends we already see that many types of plastic but in those plastics some are recyclable some are non recyclable so let us see and they are categorized into two parts they are thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic so let us know the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic thermoplastics they are they contains long and straight chain compound they are softened on heating and can be re molded remolded and reshaped for example polyethylene bags and bread and bread bags thermosetting plastics they are cross cross linked compound they are not softened on heating and they can be only molded once but cannot be remolded for example bakelite and melamine friends we have so far learned about what is plastic and the use of plastic in our daily life do you know that plastic is also problem so plastic is problem because plastic is toxic pollutants which can harm the environment and can cause land air and water pollution so let us know how it is affecting the air land and water air air is polluted by burn of plastic by burn of burning of plastic in an open air leads to the release of poisonous chemicals so when inhaled by this poison in, by animals and humans this poisonous chemicals will lead them to their health hazards and can cause respiratory problems so land so land is polluted by single use plastic so for do you know what is single use plastic so single use plastic means the plastic which we use and throw so the land the plastic pollution on land poses a threat to the plants and animals and also the humans who are based on the land so when we throw this plastic the chlorinated plastic which is mixed up with the soil can release harmful chemicals into the surrounding soil and deep into the ground water so this leads to the land pollution water so plastic pollution is more on water bottles so friends after the use of plastic we throw them so where do this plastic is gone so the thrown plastic are blown onto the seas and near sea turtles so the organisms which are presented in the ocean will be eat the plastic and leads loses their life so friends we have we have learned about the dangers of plastic but where it is affecting more so plastic is affecting more on the oceans so there is also accumulation of plastic in the oceans there are five major guides where the plastic is accumulating more 
the five major gyres are north pacific gyre south pacific gyre and north atlantic gyre south atlantic gyre and indian ocean gyre so not only in the ocean so plastic is also accumulated in our nations so let us see how it is where it is accumulating in our country so i have collected data from 2018 from 2013 to 2018 so see this bar in this slide we can see the plastic consumption consumption in india between 2013 and 2018 so understanding this critical situation the government of our the government of various nations including our national government have launched anti plastic campaigns Our India pledges to beat the plastic pollution by 2022. It is an unbelievable reality that we all are surrounded by plastic waste. So, as much as we close our eyes to the hazards of plastic, it is indeed a problem for our existence on the earth. So, understanding this situation, the government has stepped up and committed itself to celebrate World Environment Day. So, in its truest essence. through a series of activities and events that aim to generate interest in public with the announcement that all the single use plastic across the country will be eliminated by 2022 so however all so many breakthrough moves have already initiated so here are some initiatives taken by our country reusables in government offices so one of the government office in kerala on june 5 2018 has made switch to ink pens and and plastic water bottles and also plastic cups so instead of them they are using steel cutlery and steel water bottles in their office premises so fishing for plastic waste from water bottles so it is good to know that one of the mission call in kerala call suchitwa mission has came forward with 28 fishermen and engaged in not just finding fish but also the plastic which are the stocks in the nets and floats on the sea so this mission was launched about 10 months and came with the result of collecting 25 tons of plastic so there is also a utilizing of plastic for road surfacing so one of the college called tyagaraja college of engineer in madurai have came forward and used plastic for road surfacing so some of the states like maharashtra jammu and kashmir goa and karnataka have have, have imposed some ban on plastic so what is our responsibility to stop this plastic pollution and what can we do to stop this plastic pollution so the need of the hour is to replace the plastic with environment friendly materials so here are few alternatives for plastic so we should avoid buying items which are packed in plastic so when we are going to grocery malls we should avoid using items which are packed in plastic instead of them we should buy items which are packed in which are packed which are packed in glass jars and also the detergents which are packed in which are packed in boxes instead of plastic so we should keep a reusable bags handy to our cars or bikes when we are going to grocery marks or grocery stores because when we forgot this reusable bags we can get an idea to take this reusable bags when we are going to this stores carry a reusable canteen not reusable water bottles so we should not preserve the water in plastic water bottles we should we should preserve water in reusable canteen so friends already we have seen in thermoplastic that plastic is melted by heating and softened on heating so when we are microwaving in an oven we should use glassware instead of plastic ware because when we heat the food in plastic the plastic will melt and mixes up with the food so that leads us to 
eat plastic and drink plastic. And also, we should stop having food in plastic plates and cups. So, here we can, in this slide, we can see the mind map of this section. So, finally, I want to conclude that we all should join our hands to stop this situation and also fight this situation for preserve our mother earth. So, we should also not, we should also help our government in not just saving our earth, but also bringing the awareness in our, in the people in, for this problem. And also we should stop the use of plastic and we should save our, pres preserve our mother earth and say to no, say no to plastic. Thank you.